hi guys welcome back to my channel it's shalom again and um i hope you've been safe and i hope you're okay so there's this thing i want to talk about today and it's something that is affecting everyone and it's affecting our society too and i hope you relate and i hope after listening to me that we can help make the world a better place So yes, it's about child abuse. This past few months, it has been really, it's been tough on me coming online every day and reading about a child being raped by older men, by young men, children from, from the age of three months to 12, 11, 13, 15 years being raped and molested. And I don't know if you guys feel okay, but I don't feel okay about it. I feel so bad. I feel so disgusted. I, I mean, I, reading about it is something that has, in fact, it, it made me very weak. And here I want to talk to us. I think evil, there is a lot of evil hovering around the world today. And it's still going to be there. If it's our responsibility to, to protect our children. It's our responsibility to educate our children. It's our responsibility to tell our children to speak up when they are being molested, to speak up, not even when. They shouldn't even wait to when they are being molested. Once they see the signs, they should speak up. As parents, we have huge responsibility. Gone are the days when parents don't talk about uh, sexual uh, uh, sexuality with their children. You have to start teaching them from when they are very little. From when they can hear you, from when they can understand what speech, you should start teaching them what sexual, everything concerning sex. Yes, we should start teaching them. We should start teaching them how to protect themselves. We should start teaching them how to speak up. I I I heard the news. I read I read I read an article about a man who whose son was abused for three years by their next door neighbor. This next door neighbor was married or is married. And he has been abusing an 11 year old boy for three years. And how did they get to know? They got to know because the boy couldn't sit down very well, properly. And they took him to the hospital and they found maggots coming out from his anus. And the boy and the boy's father beat the boy for three hours because the boy couldn't speak up the boy did not speak up or the boy didn't tell them that someone was um, uh, abusing them if you found out if he found out that the boy was being abused and he had the mind to beat him for three good hours what would he have done if the boy spoke up we should learn how to parent we should start learning how to parent to be a good parent to our children we should start creating a, a, a means a, a, a means for them to come to to come to us we should start creating relationship standard for our children if if your children are so scared of you they are scared to come to you to tell you anything about anything then how do you expect them to tell you that someone is abusing them while well, at the end of the day you're going to beat them on top why we are the ones scaring these kids away and they don't talk they don't speak up when things or evil things have been done to them parents we can do better we can do better in this generation this generation kids are very smart they are very i mean kids are extremely smart in this generation and there is nothing they don't know and if you can catch them when they are young and teach them about these things probably the the rate of evil that is going on in the world it wouldn't be this extent what am i trying to say i'm trying to say that it is high time you create relationship with your children the boys and the girls let them come to you whenever they have trouble when they co let them come to you let them be able to come to you whenever they are in a situation that they cannot handle they shouldn't be scared to tell you how they feel they shouldn't be scared to tell you what is happening to them at a particular time because you are going to shout or yell or even hit them yeah i'm not i'm not saying scolding a child is wrong but there are things that we need to tell our children there are ways we need to talk to our children so that they can come to us whenever they are in trouble 
Now, having talked about it, I want to tell us something. We have responsibilities as, as parents. I've said it before. And number one is creating good relationship with our children. If you don't create good relationship with them, they cannot tell you anything. And that is a fact. You don't expect a child to come to you when you are going to beat them or scold them or yell at them for being wrong or for doing something. Even when they are in danger, they will be so scared to tell you and they will confide in another person. And you as a parent, you don't know the whereabouts of your child or your children and someone else is their confidant. You failed as a parent. You have failed as a parent. If you don't know, I'm telling you now. And secondly... educate your children you think they are young <laughs> if 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 you should open their mind if the, the lord good lord should open their mind for you to see what their thoughts and how they reason you would know that children of these days are no longer young from the age three they know good from bad and terrible you have to teach them educate them tell them things are wrong show them show them uh, show them things Talk to them. Tell them the, the disadvantages of things and, and situations of things around. The world is becoming so dangerous. It's becoming, in fact, having, getting pregnant and having a baby in this evil world is, is a major concern for me. Because the world is so evil. You have to educate her. I, I'm a teacher. A student, she is in um, elementary, in when she was in elementary three, they taught them about... Um, what is it called? They gave them sex education in school and she told me Because I was teaching I was teaching something and and she said oh, this is disgusting It's it seems like uh, the sex education we were taught in school. I don't want to see that They are they, they are being taught this in school. They are being taught how to defend themselves even their parents I have another student. She's always having she has this small device i don't know what it is so one day i was asking her what is this and she said teacher don't touch it don't touch it i asked her why and she said if you just touch it my mom is going to call the police and they're going to trace my phone and know where i am why because the mom gave her that i said whenever you're in trouble even if you any kind of trouble just press the button if you press the button it's going to I'm, I'm going to get alert and i'm going to alert the police and they are going to trace your phone to know where you are that is being an intentional parent knowing that there is evil in the world and knowing that your paramount responsibility as a parent is to protect your child is to protect your children you have to tell them talk to them tell them things pacific is four years old and from his three years old, we started teaching him that if anyone, if anyone touches him or if anyone wants to touch his penis, that he should yell. Yeah, this is the video. If somebody wants to touch you in your private part, what would you say? What private part? Your coochie. What, what do you say? <laughs> How do you say it in English? Don't touch me! Stop touching me! So when you say it, are you going to stand there and look and be waiting for the person? So what are you going to do after shouting? Run away. How do you run away? Yes, that is what we are being, we are, he's being taught here at home and in school. If anyone comes close to you, if anyone wants to touch you, you should yell and, and shout. And not just shout, but also run away. And he, in his subconsciousness, every day I tell him that. And it, it is now part of him. Even when he's taking a shower, I'm, I'm giving him shower. When I'm trying to wash him, he said, don't touch me, don't touch me, I can do it myself. That is how to teach it. That is what to teach our children, even in this evil age. Next, I want to tell us to be how to be intentional parents. Be intentional. Okay, let the kids who are three years and above who understand languages and speech and can process it what about the little ones the kids who are three months to one year parents mothers what are you doing how would you even leave your three months old baby with a stranger for them to rape where are you where have i heard i heard news about a three month old girl being raped how how is that even possible where was the mom where was the mother you can't, you shouldn't, it, no matter who, you shouldn't leave your child, especially the girl child, you shouldn't leave them with anybody. 
How would you, where, where, where were you when they were raping your daughter? Or where were you? How was it even possible? Three months old. Three months that you should call to, you should be with them all day long. It's your responsibility to be with them all day long. Where were you when they are being raped? I'm not trying to blame the mom or blame the parents, but I'm saying we should be intentional, intentional about our kids. They are our paramount responsibilities. They are our first and most important responsibilities in this life we are living until they are old enough to take care of themselves even at that time you still have a responsibility to take care of them and to protect them you shouldn't leave your your child your girl child your boy child of that age we should learn to protect our little ones the next thing i want to talk about is the school responsibility our schools you are responsible also to take care of our children yes because parents barely have time for their children the little time they spend at home, eat breakfast, go to school, come back at lunch, eat lunch, um, do your homework, and um, um, eat dinner and go to sleep. They, they spend most of their time in school. Why? How can you? How can you not train these children? How can you not teach them about these things and and talk to them? Parents, teachers, you can do more. The school is also your responsibility to make sure that these children are safe. There is something called PE, physical education. It is being done in schools. Use that time and teach them how to defend themselves. Organize programs for them. Organize programs. Teach them Taekwondo. Teach them self-defense. Let them defend. Let them learn how to defend themselves. And let them know how to speak out and speak up when they are being abused or molested. Like I said before, they shouldn't even wait for when they are being abused to speak up. Once they start seeing the sign, they should start talking. When I was when I was much more younger, there was this uncle of mine, there was this kind of rough play he played with me one day. He didn't touch me. It wasn't I mean it was it was it was inappropriate. I told my mom. When my mom came back, I told my mom. My mom called him and called me and and kept then we were standing in front of her and she asked him, why would you do this kind of thing to her? I don't like that kind of place. It's very rough. It's very expensive. And since that day, he never tried it with me again. He never ever tried it with me again. That is how to, when you speak up, when we teach our kids how to speak up, they can come to you and they can reach out to you. Even if they, they don't have time to reach out to their parents. As a school, they can reach out to you as teachers, as, as, uh, as school headmistress and headmasters or, 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 or principals. They can reach out to you. Society responsibility, societal responsibility. What are you doing? What would you do? What do you do when you see something happening, something that is not supposed to happen, happening around you? Do you keep quiet? Oh, it's none of my business. It's not my business. That one consigned them. They can do anything they want to do when they, however they want to do it. It is wrong. Look, if you are in the presence of where iniquity or evil is taking place and you keep quiet, you are also a culprit. In fact, you you are evil yourself. Children around you, when they come around you, uh, or when you see inappropriate things happening, do you speak out? Do you do you defend them? Do you defend the children that are, that are around you? Do you, or you say, oh, it's not my business. It, it, their mom, their parents should be the one. You are also responsible for them. If they are close to you and evil and something evil wants to happen to them, and you keep quiet, you are also responsible. And at the judgment day, even whether or not you believe in the judgment day, judgment will come and you also, you will have to answer for them at that, on that day. I, someone made a post, an Insta blog carried a lady who was go, going to somewhere with her cousin, nine year old cousin, and a man, a full grown man said, oh, this one, this one goes sweet though. A nine year old, nine year old girl goes sweet for you. And someone close to the and the lady was trying to protect herself and and her and her cousin little cousin sister and another man close to them say eh, 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 is she not a girl is she not going to have sex is she not going to be what are you why are you why are you acting like it's something strange how can people even reason like that please if you're close to somewhere see you old you old men and and on and and, and uh, if you're the, at the in fact, if you are an adult, even a teenager, stop calling little babies or little girls your wife and your girlfriend. Stop it. Stop it. And if you're a mother and you're staying and some a little a man, a, an old man is calling your little girl my wife. You are my wife. My 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 husband. And you are keeping quiet. Shame to you. Yes, I said it's shame to you. Don't even let anybody 
sexualize your child. Don't let anybody sexual. Just stand to, stand to your feet and tell them no. Because if you leave it next tomorrow, do you see? The devil works with with thoughts. See that thought you're giving the that thought you're giving a second thought to. The devil would would use that thought on you because when you start seeing a little girl and start calling your little girl your wife, next time you, the next thing that will come to your head is how is to sexualize the girl, and next thing you will be thinking about having sex with her. It is bad enough. It is bad enough that adults are being raped, but children also being raped, and and things happening like this is evil. And, you, and don't promote evil. Stop promoting evil. Stop calling little babies your wife. Don't stop calling little girls your wife. They are not your wife. Go and go and meet your age mates. Stop calling little boys your your husbands. They are not your husbands. Go and meet your age mates. Leave. Stop sexualizing our children for us, please. And you are there. And even if the the, the child's parents is not there, and you are there, and you're not doing anything. Oh, thank God for this lady. Thank God for a lady who who went to buy something and and a, a, a man was was sexualizing a little girl and the mother of that little girl kept quiet and said eh, and he likes her he used to buy things for her it's not the problem and the and the man was sitting she had to caution the man and she thought the the mother the implications of what is happening or what she's seeing or what she's overlooking Things are happening in our world. Don't let it come. Don't let it happen to you first before you think. And don't say, yeah, this person is my, it's a very good person. I know him. You don't know any, the heart of man is desperately evil. You do not know anybody. So far, you are not, even family members are, are they are molesting uh, nephews and nieces and someone who is, who is outside that you're, you're vouching for the person for what? Please don't let anybody sexualize your, your children. If they are old enough to have wife, they should go find a wife. They should stop calling your children their wives and their husbands. Your kids are too small for that kind of exposure. We should do better. We have responsibility as, as people living in the society. We have responsibilities as teachers and parents. We have responsibilities as parents to... to <sighs> I just hope we do better. I hope we can take care of ourselves. I just hope that we try to make this world a little bit safer for our children. If if the world out there is very dangerous, our home should be safe. Our home should be safe for our kids. We shouldn't let people to come to come into our home and defile our children. We shouldn't keep quiet. And if you're a, if you're a neighbor and you're seeing some strange movements concerning about another neighbor and, and a, a certain child, please speak, speak up, please speak up. Tell your parents, tell them what is happening. Please, please, it's very important. My son is very important. My, my, my nephew, my niece, my, my little niece is very important to me. I cannot stand and, and, and watch things happening and keep quiet, please. I hope we've gotten, we understand what I'm trying to say. And I'm saying it out of a heavy heart and I hope we can do better. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you keep listening and watching my videos. And if you, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do. Remain blessed. Bye.